Infernal Blessings. We are back with another video. Alright. Alright, before I begin, a couple quick announcements. Alright, well, if you are interested in booking a 2024 yearly forecast reading, um, I do that from this time now. November to uh, pretty much like the first week in February, but let me put a disclaimer out there uh, as, as of the recording of this video today, November 22nd, uh, I am booked up for there's nothing available for the rest of this week. Uh, anything being booked would be next week moving forward. I know a lot of people are reaching out uh, wanting to get one in this week. Uh, it's just with everything going on, it's, it's a little... Uh, busy and tight right now with personal stuff. The holiday, two days away. We got Thanksgiving this weekend, so family, friends. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff around the house. And in addition to that, in between, I'm doing readings galore, trying to get a lot of them done this week. But I am at my max. I cannot do anything else for the rest of this week. So please know when you reach out to me for uh, a yearly forecast reading or a reading in general, any type of reading. Uh, everything will have to be scheduled the week after Thanksgiving moving forward. Uh, when I tell you it's book solid, it is book solid. So I'm not going to overdo it and put myself in a tough spot and, and uh, just try to cram stuff in. That's just not the way I operate, all right? But if you are interested in booking a reading, your 2024 yearly forecast reading, or any of the various other types of readings I offer, clopathic, demonic readings, Santa Muerte readings, shadow work readings, deity readings, um, you name it, just shoot me an email, khnum19 at gmail.com. Send me days and times you're available in the time zone, please. Very important, because I don't just deal with customers within the United States. I deal with customers in all time zones within the U.S. I also deal with customers overseas, Africa, Europe, um, you name it. Um, just, just various different time zones, so it's very challenging when it's busy like this. Uh, it's very important I know the time zone so I can schedule accordingly, all right? If you're interested in signing up for classes, the way to sign up for the classes I do offer, you want to go to the official Primordial Chaos Patreon page, which is located at patreon.com forward slash Beniti, B-A-N-I-T-I, that's patreon.com forward slash Beniti, B-A-N-I-T-I, tier three. Oops. A little error here. Thing bugging out. Sorry about that. Uh, tier three. That's the tier you want to go to. Uh, when you join tier three, that gives you access to all of the classes, not just from the time that you join the day moving forward, but you get access to all of the classes in the archive going three years back. It's a lot of classes. Trust me when I tell you. And as as I've said before, we we go in, in on Patreon. A lot more in depth. Uh, we talk about a lot of things I would not talk about. Uh, obviously, on YouTube, uh, there's a lot of work, rituals, exercises. Uh, again, it's for that individual that wants to take their spiritual path of self mastery to that next level. I do three private classes every month on Patreon, in addition to a group ritual. Um, you get access to that every month. All right. Also, keep in mind, all this new content is being uploaded to the Primordial Chaos podcast, which is available on Spotify and all major podcast platforms. You can now listen to all this new content in audio format. If you're hanging around the house, exercising, walking in the park, driving in your car, whatever, you can listen now to this in audio format to do what you're doing, but still getting your uh, information. All right. The link to the podcast is in the description box of this video. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Primordial Chaos 9, one word. Check us out on Facebook, Primordial Chaos, two words. Uh, I also upload all the new content, you, all the YouTube videos. I also post them on the Facebook page. All right, having said that, as we're approaching this high season of what we call, or what mainstream calls the winter solstice of darkness, as I've said to you guys before, this is a great season of serious illumination and enlightenment for us as Luciferian practitioners, right? I said to a lot of you guys that are in the Luciferian magic and self-mastery class, which literally is one of my favorite classes because I think that class and the information that we're covering in there 
really embodies and puts together as a whole what this path is about. Because there's a lot of things in general, even in other paths, whether it's, for an example, Sith philosophy, ancient Egyptian vampirism, necronom, any, uh, Egyptian hacker, there is a lot of elements to Luciferian philosophy and what it represents. Because as a whole, when we talk about apotheosis, self-mastery, right? When we talk about mastering ourselves, seeking that illumination in life, because a Luciferian is always seeking he or she illumination, which is intellect or knowledge. Not, not that false, as I said before, artificial illuminating light. That's not the light that we're seeking, right? Um, but a lot of the, the systems, the philosophies, and the paths that we utilize on the occult or the left-hand path are very uh, Luciferian in nature because of what they represent. Any path that deals with mastering yourself, you becoming the God that you're destined to become, things of that nature, all is ingrained in what Luciferian philosophy represents. Okay? Now... When, when this time of the season, which I always talk about as we get to this year, it's not just the holidays, right? But you know, I love the holiday season. I don't look and get into all the conscious and the political shit. I don't care, okay? I want to make this clear. I don't give a shit. If you celebrate the holidays or you don't, that's your business. I do. It has personal significance to me. I'm not into all that. All right, I get all that. You can come with the history, this, that, or the other, but it's not about that. It's not about the commercialness of it, and it's not about the religious nonsense of it, okay? It's ingrained in my upbringing, my history, and my ancestry. It's very personal to me, and I personalize it, and I've incorporated that energy and now passed it down to my family that I'm raising, and I want them to pass it to their family. It's keeping an ancestral energy and a power and a lineage alive for my bloodline. And I, I, I ritualize this entire holiday season. And as I get closer to Christmas, I'm going to do a whole cold breakdown on Santa, on Santa Claus, the elves. I've never really done a full video on that, but I'm going to save that for a little bit as we get closer to the holiday. So just well, let me put that out there. I don't, look, it's your business. I respect anybody if they do or they don't. That's You're entitled to that. I don't care. But all I'm saying is don't come at me with no bullshit. I don't give a fuck. Okay. So let's get that out the way. But as we approach what they call Christmas, the 25th of December, as you know, it is the day on the calendar year, our calendar year that we use here. It's the, it's the day that has the shortest amount of daylight hours. Okay. Now, as I said to a lot of you guys who are in the Luciferian Magic and Self Mastery class, I know some of you guys did your self initiation. Uh, as we started the Luciferian Magic and Self Mastery class last year, we started it a few months prior. And in that class, we were leading up to that self initiation uh, last December um, for those who were ready. And I know some of you guys did do it, and there was some that didn't because they felt like there was there's more they needed to do and there, more, there was more they needed to learn, which is fine. That's perfect. So I want to put this out there for those who didn't do it last year and are now ready to do it this year, you have about five weeks now to get yourself ready and prepared. And if you've been in the class since last year, and just in my opinion, and again, I don't tell people what they should and should not do, you should be ready to do it by this year if you're going to do it. If this is something you're sincere about pursuing, or if this is something, a goal that you really want to accomplish, or this is something you really want to do. So December 25th represents... The day of the year, as I said, with the least amount of daylight and the most amount of hours of darkness. So why why are Luciferians do self-initiations or, or rituals at this high time or high point of the year? There's a high representation in the psyche of light coming out of the darkness. So you're going into the darkness to obtain that illumination or intellect, which that's what the light is, so you can master yourself. That's where you get the term that people have spooked out, the illuminated ones or the illuminatis in Latin or illuminati in English, right? We're not talking about the group of people who have been labeled through, whether it's masonry or the order of the Illuminati, tracing back to Adam Weiss, have a group of individuals 
wealthy individuals who try to get together and, you know, the Rothschilds, uh, you know, all those, we know the history. Yes, those people that had wealth and power were trying to control the economy and are. But that's not what every Luciferian or illuminated one is about, right? It's about tapping into the power of the energy of Lucifer, the light bearer, who is the greatest mask or adversarial current where one gets that full understanding of what true light and darkness is. And that's why Lucifer is the key representation of what Luciferian philosophy and doctrine is about. Okay? Very critical. So, in essence, if you're on this path, you're Luciferian in nature, whether you accept it or not. Okay? But, if you're at that point where last year you didn't do your initiation, now, again, is the time. you got about five weeks to get yourself ready and prepared to do that self-initiation, okay? So when we come into this very high, I like to call it a high time of the year because there's a high vibrational energy or frequency for us, and, and I'll break down that in that holiday video. That's why there's a lot of energy out here also during what we're calling this holiday season. And if you know how to tap into vibrational energy and frequency on a spiritual level, you can use that to empower you. Okay. You got to remember those <laughs> those who are really doing the work on this path do it in the darkness. Those and because as as I said, in that darkness is where true light is obtained. Those that do the work are doing it in the shadows. They don't need to be seen and heard all the time. That's where the real practitioners are doing the work. When you got a bunch of people, this is why I talk, try to tell you, be careful. In this age of the internet, social media platforms, apps, and whether it's Facebook, YouTube, this, that, and the other. As I said, YouTube, great technology. We can reach the masses, you know, in a matter of seconds in real time, right? And so there's many upsides to technology and the internet. But as I said before, the downside is you got a lot of fucking nonsense on here. Be careful of people constantly on the on the internet talking about how powerful they are. Just, you know, with the braggadocious videos all the times, how they'll fuck people up, how they done this and that, how they do destructive, why they're dark magicians, this, that, and the other. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that's a red flag. Anybody that's really doing the work isn't talking about it openly like that and putting themselves out there as a target. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what claims they're making. It's all bullshit. Okay, when you got to get on videos all the time on whatever platform you're on and you just got to be doing braggadocious shit all the time or the other red flag is be careful of people that make videos just talking about people all the time, trashing people, right? Because that's them taking energy away from themselves so you don't see their weakness. You don't see through their bullshit. You don't see through their nonsense. Because anybody that's doing those two things, that they make videos all the time just slandering people, or they're making videos all the time bragging about how powerful they are and they do this or that, red flag. Real motherfuckers that's doing work don't talk about it like that on that level. They don't get in an open form and put themselves out there on front street to be exposed for the bumbling idiot that they look like, okay? So don't get caught up in all that braggadocious shit because people that are really doing the work on this path, that old saying, real bad boys or bad girls move in silence, right? If you're a bad motherfucker and you're on this path, you don't need to be out there on front street. Your, your, your work, your actions, and how you carry yourself speaks for itself, okay? That's the bottom line. That's it. It's that simple. So if you want to feed into that nonsense, you can feed into that nonsense. It's irrelevant. But for a Luciferian, again, back to my point, what I was saying, for a Luciferian, this is a high time of the year. It's a very powerful time of the year for us. It's the time of great illumination. I mean, all year round is, don't get me wrong, because Luciferian philosophy connects hard, you know, with the cycles and the seasons, you know. There is connection, not in a spooky way or religious 
way to some of the astrological uh, breakdowns and energies. All this stuff is connected to you and your path of self mastery. Okay? But that quest and that journey for illumination is endless. Okay? It's, it never ends. You're always on a journey to seek that illumination, that light, which is that intellect. Okay? That's your driving force. That's your motivation to seek knowledge on a daily basis. Your main goal is to always want to learn and self-master your, self yourself. Okay? What, what would be any other purpose greater than that being on a spiritual path? Because as I said before, sometimes people's priorities is all fucked up. They come on this path with a twisted approach or they come on this path for the wrong reasons. Okay? And I want to reiterate, as I've reiterated many fucking times, don't come on this path thinking because you're making a declaration to be a Luciferian or a left-hand path practitioner that, oh man, now I'm, I'm going to be doing these occult rituals and all of a sudden now I'm just, everything's going to be solved for me. You know, nothing. No, it's not how this works. I want you to know as you set foot on this path, yes, the rewards are fucking amazing. I can't even, I could be here all day talking to you about it. Yes, you know, get the blessings and the results are much more greater than the trials and tribulations, but, and the challenges, but I want to make it clear, you will go through many challenges, trials and tribulations. It's not going to come with the snap of a finger. That's what I want you to know and be clear of. It's work, essentially, is what I'm saying. Be prepared when you come on this path to work. And that's why I said earlier, one of the things I love about Luciferian philosophy and practice, it really challenges you on all levels, especially your intellect. It's very stimulating to your intellect. It's going to make you really think on levels that you've never thought in any shape, form, or fashion. It's going to put your mind through tests and challenges it's never been through before. Okay? And that's, that should be what everybody wants, or that should be everybody's approach, because, as I've said many times before, if you're not willing to challenge yourself, this is not the right path for you, okay? If you're not willing to really test your strengths, your weaknesses, to really see what you're all about, this path isn't for you. If you're looking for some comfortable shit, some routine shit, that just makes you feel fuzzy and warm all the time, then nah, this ain't the path for you. You might want to look into something else. Okay? But if you're a warrior and you come on this path with a warrior mentality, okay, uh, I guarantee you, you have a great chance of succeeding. If you come on this path with an open mind in the sense that you're willing to to learn, you're willing to make changes, uh, you're willing in certain situations and scenarios to humble yourself, okay, I guarantee you, you will have great success, and everything that I'm, I'm throwing out here, this embodies what Luciferian practice and Luciferian philosophy is about, okay, so again, for those who have not yet prepared as we approach this great high season of uh, illumination and light for a Luciferian practitioner, now is the time to start preparing, okay? If you're serious about your journey on this path, to me, uh, this is a, a particular path that can be so empowering for you on so many levels that I could be here talking about it for hours. Okay. Now, also let me throw out there for those who are on the Patreon, let me put this out there. Um, and more so, not for you guys that were there last year and did and did the ritual and those who were there last year and didn't remember. As a matter of fact, it just reminded me, I'll, I will find that post and put it in the Luciferian collection. It's not in there. It just dawned on me. 
It is in the main post section, but now that I just, as I'm talking about it, I need to pull it off the main section, which will stay there, and put it in the Luciferian philosophy and collection, the Luciferian self-magic, excuse me, Luciferian magic and self-mastery collection section. The instructions and the ritual itself is on the Patreon. There is a PDF file which uh, has the whole outline of the ritual. But keep in mind with the ritual too. That's the outline. There's a lot of elements in that ritual you must self-create. When you see it, you'll understand it. But now having said that, I will find the ritual and put it in the uh, Luciferian uh, magic and self-mastery class. It is in the main thread where all the posts are, but you would have to scroll down to about last time this year. Matter of fact, I'll do it when I stop. I'll find it. Uh, and then that's that's kind of where you want to go again to put that out there for those that may have joined in the last, recently or in the last few months and didn't know anything about it. Just so you don't email me. If you're looking to perform the self-initiation, you would go on to the Patreon page. The full instructions is, is there on how to do it. And then if you go into the collections, the last Patreon class before the holidays last year, just look at the date. I believe it was November of 2022. Uh, just find that last class around this time last year, which is it's archived in order. Uh towards the end of that class that whole class is about that self-initiation and there's a lot of good information on there um, to get yourself prepared ready and how to perform that right and self-initiate yourself so uh, but I will find the uh, I will take also the, the link of the ritual that was on the main thread which is still there again if you scroll down and you go around this time last year uh, but I will also pull it and put it in the collection section so you can see it right there. So those that want to perform that ritual or that rite, the full instructions, the outline of the ritual, uh, everything is right there on the Patreon page. And again, that's for Patreon members only. Tier 3, that gives you access uh, to that ritual and that information. And again, this is why I said earlier, this is why when I'm always promoting the uh, Patreon page in the beginning of videos, you know, we do something completely different there. Now also, let me throw this out real quick before I wrap this up So. Uh, it was a great class we did on Thursday. Was it Thursday? It was today. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Sunday night because I had to move the class to this past Sunday. Um, and I put in the in the description after after I uploaded it. Uh, and it's it's a, it's one of them sleeper classes because it opened the door to a bunch of other stuff. It opened the door to a bunch of other stuff. Um. It's the last left-hand path Norse mythology and runes class number four. That was the last class we did Sunday evening. Um, but we had two two brothers on, Henry and Dirk, who put a, a lot of good input in this class. Now, this class opened up the door and the gateway to a lot of other information. Now, when you go watch that video, it kind of tapped into some stuff I'm going to get ready to do in January in the Esoteric Occult. Bible study class, and you'll see when you go watch the video, I'm not going to talk about that over here, so we're about to take that to a, a, a whole nother level, trust me when I tell you, and those that win the class on Sunday evening, you know what I'm talking about, but there's a lot of great stuff in that class that them two brothers opened up dialogue to, and the class was flowing, it, it, it was centered around, uh, the focal, focus of the class was the, uh, the God Thor. But we tapped into Thor energy in their class like, man, you, like you wouldn't believe, trust me when I tell you. Uh, you need to go back and watch it. And I got a couple ideas. I'm going to shoot another video later today. I might elaborate uh, uh, something that's connected or a continuation of this uh, as I get to my first destination. Uh, but that class, uh, it's one of them sleeper classes. The, the, the title could be a mi little misleading. Um, though, yes, we, we got into heavy into uh, the breakdown of Thor, his elements, his attributes, uh, uh, the, the whole history and what that symbolicism represents. Uh, we got into, you know, uh, it's a real deep, detailed breakdown of his hammer, right? Uh, but when you get some time, if you're on the Patreon, especially, and you haven't watched the video, go check it out. If you do join the Patreon, 
that's the last class that we did on Sunday evening this past Sunday. Check it out. Trust me when I tell you, you won't be disappointed. Uh, but it was just beautiful how everything was in synchrony and how it's all lining up of where I'm getting ready to go. And that's not a coincidence, right? That, that energy was in alignment on Sunday evening for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, right? Um, so it was a great thing. But anyway, in short, to wrap this up, it is a high time of illumination and power and energy for a Luciferian at this time of the year. Okay? This is truly when one goes into the darkness to do the work of the light. Because that's where light or illumination must be obtained. You can't, you can't obtain it anywhere else but there. Okay? So, again, I will tell you for the last time, if this... If you're ready and you want to perform this right, and again, as I said earlier, if you didn't do it last year and, you, and you've been taking the rest of the classes moving forward, it, in my opinion, not to, again, not telling you what you should or should not do, you should be ready now. Now, some of you have reached out that didn't do it last year and have reached out to me and said, Benini, I'm ready to do it this year. I'm going to do it. Power to you. Okay? So I, I would hope most of the group or people that are part of the class that didn't do it last year because they felt like they needed more time, they wanted to learn more, which I commend uh, those individuals that were being honest because, right, we shouldn't just do shit to be doing it. We should do shit feeling confident because we know what we're doing and we should go into it with that mindset and that mentality. So I, I most definitely salute those that felt like last year they needed more time and they weren't ready. And so 100%, but I, if you've been in the classes from that point at the end of last year to now in my opinion I think it's time right you should be ready now if you come to the conclusion it's just not for me then that's fine too okay so just put that out there you know but other than that uh, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about it's kind of what I wanted to get into um, so if you're ready get yourself prepared take advantage of this high vibrational frequency and energy that's in the air from now as we roll into the new year. All right, that's going to wrap it up for me. If you need to reach out to me, 2024 yearly forecast reading. Book yours now until February, okay? Uh, or if you need to book any other type of reading that I offer, shoot me an email the in the description box of the video. You can find my contact email, the direct link to the Primordial Chaos podcast, the direct link to the social media pages, uh, the direct link to the Primordial Chaos Patreon page where you sign up uh, for classes, all of those links and all the information that you need to reach out to me to book a reading, etc. All of that is in the description box of this video that you are watching right now. I will try to shoot another, at least one more video later today to get some new content up on the page. Other than that, I'll talk to you guys soon. Infernal blessings. We out.